Hello, and welcome to another Fleet Ops audio commentary brought to you today by ClintSat. We've got an exciting 2v2 for you today on Nebula Stream test version number two. Um, this map is created by Stardust, and we happen to have Stardust here with us to uh, help kind of shake down the map. So we'll go ahead and start with the bottom team this time. Looking at the blue Borg, played by Arash8472. Very experienced Borg player. Should be pretty interesting to see you know, what he does. Um, this is a little bit bigger map um, than, say, maybe a Star Traffic. Uh, at least has a little more distance between the starting locations, so might give him a little extra time. His partner is uh, TCR. Um, those of us who um, talk to him on TeamSpeak call him uh, Chapman. So Chapman is the Borg. He is an Assimilate Borg. Um, should be interesting to see what he does. Uh, he could go Assimilators. Um, probably will go Assimilators, but uh, we'll be curious to see if he's going to build Assimilate Assimilators or maybe uh, DPS Assimilators. So, uh, looking at their competition here, at the top we have Stardust, who is also the Borg. He is playing an uh, Assimilate as well. So, wow, uh, double a Sim here. Should be interesting to see what they do and how those uh, how many assimilators they get out against each other. Star's partner is Nebula. He is uh, Romulan and looks like he is setting up for maybe an early Laval. So we'll see how that works for him. Um, against a couple Borg, might not be that bad. Uh, Chapman calling out the uh, lack of excitement about a Borg versus Borg game. Yeah, we'll see how that works. Um, taking a look to see what avatar he is, you can check. You can look at the research station and see that he has sensor jammer. That indicates that he is a Helev avatar. Helev is going to have that bonus to. Uh, to supply, so he's gonna actually have to use much less supply when building his fleet compared to a Majoral. And we see TCR taking a look, seeing what uh, Stardust is and what he's going. Um, we'll see that fairly early expand to try. Um, we're gonna continue to, to pump out these these guys. Has a nose level one going up. Over here, we see that Nebby is scouting out. Um, a rash pretty good he's got an uplink up and just to double check he is optimized so gonna be gonna be interesting sometimes when you get a lot of Borg together you can see some pretty cool skew brushes and uh, a lot of ships that they the Borg put out a lot of ships really early um, so if they can get those out all together, they could probably storm over here. Just take out you know, this expansion, go over here, and probably hit this Tritanium, and then uh, you know, pull back and try to regenerate. Yard in a defensive position, ready to protect the, these Dilithium Miners. Um, does have a few Laval queued up, going for his Dilithium expansion right here. Um, no, let's see. One more miner coming out for a rash, and then he's going to have some probes. So he's already expanded to his dilithium, or sorry, his titanium. Probably will get the other one over here on this dilithium. Uh, TCR going up, getting his titanium. Titanium very important for a sim assimilators. Um, not sure that he's going to field them because he is up against a um, another Borg, but he could use those assims. And you know, merge up with a rash, and they'll do great at getting these Romulans. I love all not having that much crew. We'll do a little check in a second. Um, I do hear a torpedo going off. Um, looks like it is the starbase hitting the scout. This Laval, take a look, it has 90 crew. Not a lot of crew, um, not for an assimilator. They should be able to strip it pretty quick if needed. Uh, uplinks. 
up. We see some scout cubes getting ready to come come out. And we see an Asim chassis there. No chassis yet here. One probe set up. Do not see another probe. I could be missing it. We do see the star has expanded to one miner on each area. You notice he saved. He saved the resources. Um, then he had... By, by not making another resource node. Sorry, I'm a little tongue-tied here. Um, just just one of these resource nodes. Uh, definitely enough for two miners, and it saves him 200 dilithium and 100 titanium, which can mean a lot early game. You know, as he expands further, he'll need more. Uh, we've got one Laval, one lonely Laval guarding this expansion. Uh, it's going to be tough. The Romulan is in the uh, the forward position on this map. His expansion is forward, so he's going to have to um, really watch it. But, you know, in some ways I think that's good. Um, because he can keep his fleet, you know, right around here and get a singularity transmitter, like right, right, right over here, get some energy, and he can keep everything protected. Um, but if he's in the, uh, the top, then he may not have any ships back here and can easily get taken out. So it, it just depends on your play style. First to sim out, it is an sim and regen. Double sim regen. It is moving up. Not sure that this is the best setup against another Borg. Um, you're just not gonna be able to assimilate anything. These miners have 1,100 crew. Um, probes even have a hundred, a couple hundred, I think, uh, on them. So we'll see. This probe has almost 300 crew really hard to, to drain something like that uh, but we'll find out what he does he's looks like he's headed down these guys moving down here to protect the Romulan uh, do you see the scout cubes moving in now and checking to see do we have any that are EM no I do not see any EM cubes uh, really too bad but oh oh going for the steel Going for the steal. Will I think he'll get it, folks? I think he'll get it. It'll be close. It will be close. And nope, he is going to get away. He's going to get away. Great work there by Arash and, and eliminating that threat. And looking like he is going to take this station, which will give him a nice little break here. We do hear the assimilator trying to assimilate one of these. Um, Resource assimilator is not really up to the task. Um, Rash almost getting a um, a Laval off that too, but was able to get the station in, decom it. Um, pretty sure that he will be able to get that decom. Even if he doesn't, it's not a big deal. Um, not a lot of damage on his ships here, so looks like he's doing okay. I don't think I missed a probe get killed. Uh... The probe and what you see, Arash is saying, is saying that uh, you know when you capture a station for a, just a brief second, you're able to see everything, um, at least all the stations for the opponent. So he got a little bit of intel. We still see this assimilator going out here trying to kill this miner. Really needs to be careful. I think this is set on high weapons autonomy, which is a horrible, horrible mistake, and uh, that it's going to waste all the energy on on these things that he can't really kill. Uh, meanwhile, we have a chassis for an assimilator, probably a combat sim going up there. So um, I think Chapman's got time to kind of pull back here. He he can uh, turn off that uh, autonomy and maybe get the kill off here. I don't know. He may have to run back. Um, we do see that the scubes are coming up. This assimilator is a uh, double torpedo sim. Very powerful. Uh, it's going to do great amount of damage against the Borg. Um, this one over here is the same. So double torpedo and I think this is uh, yeah regen. And just to check here, regen. Um, something that some people try to do is use the nanite factory. It does give a little boost to the defense. So um, And uh, really helpful when you're trying to assimilate things is it will get rid of some of the crew. Uh, this guy going to see if he can get out. Um, the scubes are going to do a great job of maybe deflect, or, you know, soaking up some of this damage and taking some of the misses uh, if they can get into you know, some sort of an attack position. Though, it looks like they're going to let this Asim get out. 
Um, it's going to take some damage, but should be okay. This is a um, a beam and a sim assimilator. Now, given those sim modules, adding the, it does add a lot of system value, so it does make it regen pretty fast. This guy needs to turn around. He is going to get himself killed. Romulans grouping together. We have them sit there. Uh, not really able to do a lot of damage to mining. He's just gonna bump in. This guy going to try to get out. Um, taking taking some damage. Uh, this assimilator moving in. This guy really getting hit here. Now going in trying to gonna try to take out that um, place here. We do, we do see a nice um, adapter. Don't see adapters every day. This guy really uh, really going down here. Down here. These things just rip, ripping apart this uh, poor Romulan mining. Um, Adapter is um, kind of a solid choice for a rash. They do a little bit more damage to Borg ships, and it looks like Chapman is down one a sim to Stardust. And oh, 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 getting a getting a scout uh, force the decloak by uh, um, by Nebby there will they get the Laval oh assuming trying to assume the Laval will they get it will they get it they got the kill um, stripping a lot of crew will they will they capture it will they capture it they do get it they do get the Laval Ball going to be uh, retaken, I think. We'll see. He might get out. He might. He might get out. He might not. Does have weapons damage. Will not be able to cloak. Did buy time for these guys to get out. Which is always, always good. Chapman setting up uh, another uplink, and we do see some more scubes coming out. These two combat sims looking to dance with the scubes here. Um, looks like we have a probe hiding up at the top. I have miner down there, still chasing over here in the middle. Um, this assimilator kind of just sitting around there. Um, did manage to save this Laval 5% uh, or 5 5 crew and a damaged weapon system gonna take him a while to repair and we see adapters going up adapters are again they're not they're not gonna be bad against uh, these assimilators uh, they're gonna hit the assimilators will miss I think some of the time I'm not quite sure I'll have to check on that later but the um, thing with adapters is they have much less defense, and they really take almost as much to uh, almost per CC as the sim assimilators here. So I'm not sure if I would keep building those, but uh, we'll see how that works for him. Yeah, uh, Borg on Borg is always interesting. Um, we see three sims, and we see these well, a couple of all going in here. Trying to see what's going on. Uh, really no worry about Cloak Detect as he was able to keep um, a rash from keep, keeping that scout. And we do see another uh, one torpedo, one beam there. Going up here. These guys just trying to do a little bit of damage there. Here's some beaming. Uh, looks like they're trying to recruit that Laval. Uh, an EM scoop would be great. Right here would make these guys decloak. Um, just, man, got to turn that off. Got to turn that auto sim off. It's just wasting energy and going to allow this thing to die. Not going to be able to have enough energy to probably get one of these Laval now. We'll see if he does. We'll see if he has enough to get it. Ah, does. Does get it, but uh, his friendly Borg are going to help keep him crewed up. 